Sammy Callahan is expected to re-sign with Impact Wrestling. Ethan Page is not expected to re-sign with Impact Wrestling. We get an update, finally, on Jake Crist, and it's not good news. Rich Swan versus Kenny Omega, title for title, is in the works. Kenny Omega defends Impact Wrestling from a troll's dumb comment. Speaking of dumb comments, dumb comments are back this week. All this and more coming up next on Shooting Up North with Lewis Carlin right here on the Impact Lounge. Hey folks, welcome to Shooting Up North. I'm your host, Lewis Carlin. Just a quick reminder, I do have my own YouTube channel. It's the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. Lots of content, lots of interviews on there. Go ahead and check it out. The Alliance Pro Wrestling Network. My channel, please head on over there. Hit that subscribe button. My subscribers are growing every week, and I thank everybody who has subscribed. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider heading on over to the Alliance Pro Wrestling Network and hit that subscribe button. Okay, let's get going with the Impact Wrestling news. Great news. Sammy Callahan is expected to re-sign with Impact Wrestling. It was reported um, wrestling, oh, I'm sorry, 411 Mania uh, reporting Sammy Callahan expected to remain with Impact Wrestling according to... Um, says here, according to PW Insider, uh, Sammy Callahan is expected to remain with Impact Wrestling for the foreseeable future. His contract had been set to expire this month. However, it should be noted that he hasn't officially resigned yet, but uh, he is expected to resign with Impact Wrestling. That's fantastic news. I don't expect Sammy Callahan to go anywhere else. I think he's comfortable in Impact Wrestling. I think he's, he's enjoying his time in Impact Wrestling. They've given him the full freedom that the WWE did not give him when he was there as um, I, I Solomon something I think his name was in the WWE, but but Sammy Callahan, tremendous talent to have in Impact Wrestling. I'm a huge fan of Sammy Callahan. Uh, very happy that he's remaining with Impact Wrestling. Uh, anything he does is fantastic. I'm a huge fan of and very happy that Sammy Callahan has not decided to test the waters uh, to see what he could get in AEW or possibly go back to the WWE. I don't think you want to go back to the WWE anyway. Um, but uh, it's good. He's, and and with this whole AEW, this whole AEW um, partnership right now with Impact Wrestling, there's a lot. Uh, there's a lot for Sammy Callahan to do. I'm I'm looking forward if if this whole thing works out and they start getting more matches besides Kenny Omega, uh, we start seeing more talent. I should say than besides Kenny Omega heading into Impact Wrestling. I would love to see Sammy Callahan against John Moxley. I think that would be a fantastic match. There's a lot of people. In AEW that I would love to see Sammy Callahan step into the ring with. Uh, but bottom line, great news. Sammy Callahan will be staying with Impact Wrestling. And as fans, we shouldn't be we, we couldn't be happier. We shouldn't be happier. We, we couldn't be happier. Uh, he's uh, an integral part of Impact Wrestling right now. And f to lose Sammy Callahan would be a major blow. And I'm glad he's decided to stay. He, I, I'm glad he decided to stay. On the flip side, though, on the flip side... Ethan Page is unfortunately not expected to re-sign with Impact Wrestling. Not expected, unfortunately. Uh, Dave Meltzer is reporting that uh, the current belief is that Page is not re-signing with the promotion. Meltzer also points out uh, how Page has pushed for his new vlog as possibly his last one from Impact. Page's friends and Impact are under the belief that he is finished with the promotion. That is sad news, if that is in fact correct. Uh, very, very sad news if Ethan Page is leaving. I absolutely love the North. Tremendous tag team. Probably one of the probably one of the best tag teams. If not, I don't want to say the best tag team in the world, but one of the best tag teams in the world right now. And uh, they are um, hinting on uh, splitting up uh, the last episodes of Impact Wrestling. So... It kind of all makes sense that Ethan Page is not staying. I don't know where he would go. I know he's got his own promotion uh, up here in Ontario, which is unfortunately not running due to COVID. But uh, I'm sure they'll get back as soon as they can. Alpha One Wrestling, tremendous promotion up here in Ontario. 
And um, I don't know if he's going to concentrate on that or if he's going to maybe test the water. Well, he's going to test the waters, of course, but is he going to um, go to AEW? Is he going to go to New Japan Pro Wrestling? Is he going to go waste his time in the WWE? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what he's going to do. Uh, hopefully, uh, he reconsiders and hopefully he does re-sign with Impact Wrestling. Uh, Josh Alexander, his contract is not up um, for another nine months, according to uh, this article. So Josh Alexander is not going anywhere. Um, I expect Josh Alexander, as I said in past podcasts, to be a singles wrestler, a very successful one. Uh, he's definitely someone that could carry the Impact Wrestling World Title and uh, and be a great representative for a leader for Impact Wrestling. But we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. It's the final resolution is actually tonight. So I'm expecting tonight final resolution. If if Ethan Page is leaving, I'm expecting a full a full split between uh, Josh Alexander and, and Ethan Page tonight. I think Ethan Page is going to lose. He's not. Gonna, they're not going to be able to get that title shot. Josh Alexander is going to lose his patience. Patience is going to be gone. He's going to lose his cool. He's going to attack Ethan Page, and that will be the end of the North, which is unfortunate. Because as I said. I, I absolutely love the North, but you know all all good things must come to an end, right? All good things must come to an end, unfortunately, and unfortunately this is one great thing that looks like is coming to an end. But hey, life goes on, life goes on, man. All right, so we have an update on Jake Christ. Jake Christ, we haven't seen uh, him since uh, Cancel Culture. And uh, a few months back, uh, there's been no Jay Christ on Impact Wrestling. And the update is that he is indicating on Twitter that he is a free agent. As of January 1st, Jay Christ is a free agent. So he put up a little graphic on his Twitter page. It says, January 1st, free agent. It, it has a picture of him in jail behind bars. I guess he's he's I guess he's indicating that that he's he's locked he was locked up in this Impact Wrestling contract, and um, he indicates on the bottom where to sign. Let them hear your voice, asking fans to contact promotions. Let them hear your voice and let them know that Jake Christ is going to be a free agent and he's available. Uh, so that's uh, that's unfortunate. That's unfortunate. I was a big fan of Jake Christ. I like Jake Christ's work. Jay Chris, um, very talented wrestler, former X Division champion. Uh, I was actually there when he won the title from Rich Swan uh, in here in Windsor. Um, big fan, big fan of Jay Chris, but unfortunately, uh, looks like his Impact Wrestling days are over. And wherever he lands, I hope um, I hope uh, he gets a good contract, and I hope wherever he lands, he has great success. But it doesn't look like it's going to be with Impact Wrestling. Um, so again, unfortunate news. Jay Christ is is no longer going to be on the Impact Wrestling roster. And another free agent tie of Valkyrie. Uh, there's no indication yet on whether she's going to sign or not resign with Impact Wrestling. Um, no word yet. I haven't seen anything. Hoping she resigns with Impact Wrestling. I know Rosemary is also a free agent. They got a lot of free agents coming coming up. And uh, I'm expecting uh, Rosemary to to re-sign with Impact Wrestling. And I hope, they, hope they're hope they able to get Taya Valkyrie to come back as well. Uh, so I'm going to keep my eyes on that. And uh, once I hear something or see something, I will uh, report on it right here on the Impact Lounge. Okay, so they are indicating Impact Wrestling and AEW. Rumors going out around right now that possibly... They are considering a champion versus champion match. Uh, Kenny Omega, AEW champion versus Rich Swan, Impact Wrestling World Champion. So for 2021, they're they're um they're considering that. I think they shouldn't just consider it. I think they should do it. I think that would be a tremendous match. I think Kenny Omega and Rich Swan could really really put on a a fantastic match for the fans. And the only indication is would it be in an Impact Wrestling ring or would it be in a AEW ring. Initially, you would think it's going to be in an AEW ring because they will have larger crowds, and it's going to be in 2021. You know, vaccines are coming out, uh, beginning of the end right now for COVID-19, and I'm I'm expecting uh, this whole COVID-19 thing will be over um, soon. I would say within the, um, by the end of uh, March, I would I would like to think that we're going to start seeing almost regular crowds showing up for professional wrestling events. Uh, so you would think AEW because they would have the larger crowds. But I'm thinking, here's my idea. Here's my idea. 
how about have a two out of three series of matches between Rich Swan and Kenny Omega, and, and the winner of that series becomes the champion of both promotions. How does that sound? That way you would have you would have a um, you would have one match in an AEW ring, you would have one match in an Impact Wrestling ring, and then of course you would have the third match would have to be uh, in in AEW or Impact. They could flip a coin. What they could do is they could do the coin, the coin flip, and they could decide uh, who has the home field advantage, so to speak. Uh, I would I would imagine uh, they would want to do it in AEW because there would be more eyes on the product. There'd be more fans in the crowd. So I'm thinking, you know, first first match AEW ring, second match Impact Wrestling ring, and uh, and um, of course. It, it's not going to – one of the wrestlers are not going to win two matches. It would go the full three. It will, Omega would win one, and then Kenny Omega would win the um, – um, I'm sorry, Rich Swan would win one, and Kenny Omega w- would win the other, and then whoever uh, would win the third. And uh, I think that would be a good idea. I think that would be a good idea. That way, like I said, you know, both promotions have the title match in their ring. And uh, I think the, it would be very intriguing because if it's 1-1 and it goes down to um, the last match, the fans would just be absolutely fit. Just go ballistic. The buzz would be just just in, through the roof on the internet if they did that, in my opinion. So that, that's my idea. Two out, of three seri- two out of three series of matches between Kenny Omega and Rich Swan to determine who's the champion for both promotions. Let me know what you think on that. Let me know what you think on that. Speaking of which, Tommy Dreamer actually came up with a uh, came up with his own dream match um, for uh, AEW and Impact Wrestling. So this is this is his idea. His idea is I don't know I don't know how this sounds. It's, it's it almost sounds a little weird. He says he has an idea of a triple threat match between Sting, Chris Jericho, and himself. So Tommy Dreamer put himself in a dream match. Um, Okay, no no ego for Tommy Dreamer there, but but uh, it's just weird that that a wrestler puts himself in a dream match, you know. But but anyway, that's 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 his idea of a dream match. He's like uh, he would like to see Sting versus Chris Jericho versus himself, um, in a uh, he well he says he calls himself well, he's the heart and soul. He says Sting is the heart and soul of WCW. Tommy Dreamer calls himself the heart and soul of ECW, and uh, the first ever undisputed champion, uh, Chris Jericho, could have a really good three-way match. Uh, all due respect, um, I don't, I don't know. Uh, to me, that's not really much of a dream match. Sting, as if it happens right now, Sting really can't go anymore. I know he had a bad injury after the Seth Rollins match. Don't even know if Sting could um, wrestle to full capacity right now. Um, Tommy Dreamer. Tommy Dreamer is okay. He's not. He's 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 a tremendous talent, and um, I don't know if you would want to call him a legend of professional wrestling. Um, he's he's almost a legend. Almost a legend. Um, I guess I guess uh, he's been in wrestling for a while. He's very well respected. Very well respected. But I don't know if you could really actually call Tommy Dreamer a real legend. No, nothing. Not taking anything away from Tommy Dreamer. I met the guy. A big fan. I shook his hand. I had a picture taken with him. He's a great talent, very, very well respected in Impact Wrestling. But when you think of Sting and Chris Jericho, just Tommy Dreamer is just not up in that echelon of of professional wrestlers, uh, in my opinion. You know, I mean, if it was Sting versus Chris Jericho versus say the Undertaker, that's 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 different. You know, then that would be uh, something or. Or uh, Sting versus well, I don't want to keep fantasy, but but anyway, it just doesn't seem like a very exciting dream match to me uh, to happen right now. And again, you know, kudos kudos to Tommy Dreamer for putting himself in a <laughs> for suggesting for suggesting a dream match that includes himself. So kudos kudos there to Tommy Dreamer. Uh, but again, not taking anything away from Tommy Dreamer. Tremendous talent, big fan of Tommy Dreamer. I I used to go to the original ECW shows in Queens, um, would watch Tommy Dreamer there. Big big Tommy Dreamer fan. Uh, but um, anyway, so let's uh, let's move on. Let's move on. So Kenny Omega actually, uh, back to Kenny Omega. He actually burned a troll who um, who said something very negative about Impact Wrestling, and Kenny Omega came to impact wrestling's defense which i find to be fantastic here's the here's the 
here's the uh, tweet. And I'm going to say the guy's name because Kenny Omega took care of him. The guy's name is Dr. Bill Bradley. And so he writes, My eyes were on Impact for the first time since they've been on Access. I wanted a reason to come back every week. I was absolutely hoping for something substantial. Instead, it was an unsubstantial teaser Teaser, after a, a one hour, 45 minutes of mediocre booking. I won't be back. That's bad for business. He's talking about Kenny Omega's appearance on Impact Wrestling. So Kenny Omega saw this, and Kenny Omega responds. And he responded beautifully. He wrote, you kind of seem like a dickwad anyway. <laughs> You kind of seem like a dick one anyway, so I'm kind of glad about that. <laughs> that's just, that's a tremendous, tremendous response by Kenny Omega. And I love this because Kenny Omega is defending Impact Wrestling. He's defending his appearance, of course. He's defending himself, but he's defending Impact Wrestling also. So um, thank you, Kenny Omega. Thank you, Kenny Omega, for defending Impact Wrestling against uh, this um, this schmuck. And um, speaking of which, I think, since that was a really dumb comment, I think it's time for us to jump into dumb comments. So let's get started with some dumb comments. So actually, this was sent to me by my buddy Pat. And if you have any, anybody has any dumb comments that they want to share, you put them in the comment section. I'll read them, and I might uh, take care of uh, the trolls on the show. But uh, let me pull this up. It was sent by my friend Pat. Let me... Get this. Let me find it. Here we go. Okay, so, so this was this was um, by um, somebody responding to uh, Impact Wrestling on on Facebook. So they wrote, "Would be nice if Access TV had an app to watch this on." And no, I'm not going to. Uh, I'm not going on Twitch to watch. So he's responding to Kenny Omega coming back uh, to Impact Wrestling. So, so this guy is upset because Access TV doesn't have an app to watch Impact Wrestling on, but he's not going to go on the Twitch app to watch Impact Wrestling. Makes a whole lot of sense to me. A whole lot of sense. Yeah, uh, Access TV, if they should have an app because I'm not going on the Twitch app to watch. I, I, that's, uh, that's beneath me, right? <laughs> That's beneath me. I'm, it's beneath me to go watch on Twitch. But um, that's why Access TV should have an app. But since Access TV doesn't have an app, I guess I can't watch because I'm not going on the Twitch app. Makes a whole lot of sense. Whole lot of sense, right? It's just it's it's plain stupidity, plain stupidity. And you know what this guy deserves? You know what this guy deserves? I think you know what he deserves. He deserves. What does he deserve, guys? What does he deserve? A fish stick sandwich. That's what he deserves. Okay, let's uh, let's move on. Let's move on to the next dumb comment. So here, another guy responding to Impact Wrestling, uh, Kenny Omega coming back. The only way Impact can stay relevant is to have AEW's champion on the show. Just like the only way AEW can get a rating spike is to have a legend and celebrity on their show because, in the end, nobody cares about the current Impact product. That just might be the dumbest comments of all time. Nobody cares about the current Impact product. Yeah, I beg to differ, okay? I beg beg to differ that nobody cares about the 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 current impact product you know lots of people care about the current impact impact product you know why because the current impact product is fantastic that's why it's fantastic there's no way you can say that the last show if you watched the last show that you didn't like that show every match was was great everything was great about that show you're just being a bonehead schmuck who feels that hey there's no matter what uh, i have to say i don't like impact wrestling because hey that's what trolls do right that's what trolls do and i'm a i'm an impact troll so i have to say no matter how good the show was i have to say it was bad um yeah nobody cares about the current product yeah, and the only way Impact can stay relevant is to have AEW's champion on the show. Yeah, okay. Uh, Impact Wrestling has been relevant for quite some time now. Just because you don't think it's relevant 
doesn't make it true, okay? It's been a relevant show for a very, very long time. I mean, think about it. Impact Wrestling could have folded up during COVID-19. They could have folded up shop and said, you know what? We'll, 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 um, we'll, we'll shut down production for a bit and we'll come back after COVID-19. They didn't do that. They didn't do that. They kept going. They kept filming. They kept filming um, shows and they kept filming matches. And we, we're getting fresh shows week after week. Yes, it's not in front of a crowd, but they didn't stop production. They kept going. You know, not every promotion did that. You know why they kept going? You know why they kept going and they kept, you know, doing TV tapings and bringing in talent to do shows? You know why they kept doing that? Because they're a relevant promotion. That's why. Because they're a relevant promotion. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Let's see. I'm going to skip that one. That one's not worth even reading. Yeah. So somebody um, responded to Kenny Omega again coming back. Most of these are uh, for Kenny Omega coming back um, to the next Impact show. Somebody somebody writes, what are you going to do? Sit on the bus until seven minutes till the end of the show again? If he does that, that's fine with me. I mean, again, what do you expect? What do you expect him to do? Like I said, you want him to run into the ring and start hitting V triggers and and one wing angels on the entire roster? Do you want him to? Um, well, maybe him and Don Callis could descend from the ceiling, and and they could slowly come down with with the belt. So both they could both be holding the AEW belt, and there's like this majestic music playing, and uh, as when they hit the bottom, uh, they 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 can go around and tap dance around the ring and do cartwheels and 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 uh, maybe they could chase after Josh Matthew. I mean, what do you want them to do? What do you want them to do? If they're going to be in a bus for the last seven minutes of the show again, that's fine by me. That's fine. Kenny Omega is appearing on Impact Wrestling. Kenny Omega is defending Impact Wrestling, as I read earlier. You, know, you should be thrilled about that. Don't be upset that, oh, Kenny Omega is going to sit on a bus again. You know, I mean, I'd like to see him in the ring, but I mean, what do you expect? This is, this is, this is, ah, you know what? Give this guy a fish stick sandwich. Let's move on. Let's see what else we got here. What else do we have here? All right, here we go. This guy says, biggest waste of time watching this. I don't know what they were thinking, but this ain't it. <laughs> okay. Uh, they should have never given, they should have never gave him the title. It's if he's just going to go back and forth. Hiding behind Callus, honestly, one of the weakest moves in pro wrestling. Yeah, the the AEW Impact Wrestling Partnership is one of the weakest moves ever in pro wrestling. You know, dude, do you know what a storyline is? <laughs> do you understand the concept of a storyline in professional wrestling? Because this is it. This is what this is. This is a storyline in professional wrestling. You know, you're not going to get everything revealed in one. One shot, okay? Not everything's going to get revealed in one shot. If you think it's the biggest waste of time watching, you know, then all due respect, don't watch. But it's not the biggest waste of time. You know, this is going to this is gonna go on for a bit. So they need to, they're not going to reveal everything in one shot. They're going to keep everybody guessing. That's what a professional storyline is all about. To keep you guessing, to get people to keep tuning in. That's what it's all about. It's not one of the weakest moves. How is this one of the weakest moves in professional wrestling? You know what's a weak move? Having Goldberg call out Roman Reigns, that's the weak, that's a weak move. Impact Wrestling and AEW deciding to, to, to come together and have a partnership, that's not a weak move. That's a fantastic move. It's not a weak move. Jesus, these, some, these people are just so stupid. Oh, gosh. Yeah, another. Sorry, I don't feel like another guy. Sorry, I don't feel like wasting another two hours for a three-minute segment that says the exact same thing they said two days in a row just a week beforehand. Well then, here, yeah, all due respect. Then, then don't do it. Then don't do it. If that's not, if you don't want to do that, then they don't do it again. It's a storyline. It's a storyline. By by people getting pissed off right now means you know what that means. It means the storyline is working. It means the storyline is working. Is this guy going to tune in? Of course he's going to tune in. Sorry, I don't feel like tuning in for, for, two, for another two hours for a three-minute segment. You know, well, guess what? I, I, I can almost guarantee you, know, you and the guy before that I was talking, to, uh, talking about, you're both going to tune in and watch. You're both going to tune in and watch. I can almost guarantee it. It's a storyline. It's, it's just what it's all about. That's professional wrestling. Okay? You don't understand it? You know, watch basketball. If you don't understand what's going on, you know maybe watch uh, watch soccer, 
or um, or watch volleyball or something. But this is professional wrestling. This is what it's all about. Yeah, you're you're entitled to your opinion, but uh, let's let's um, let's be real let's be realistic here. Let's let's understand that what this is storyline, and uh, if you don't like it, if you're upset at it, then that's exactly what they're going for, and they're doing their job correctly. Doing their job correctly. So I'm going to say great job, Don Callis. Great job, Kenny Omega. Great job, AEW. Great job, Impact Wrestling. I can't wait for Final Resolution tonight. And I can't wait for the next Impact Wrestling show on December 15th. I'm looking forward to it. And on that note, thank you very much for listening today. I'm Lewis Carlin. This is Shooting Up North right here on the Impact Lounge. And until next time, thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye. Stay safe, everyone. So long. Bye-bye.